Saturday is the spring unveiling, Emmy. It's the first season since fabric rationing is over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Seven K, go ahead. Eleven K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing field. Eleven K, code two. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaking motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. That'll wipe the smile off their face.
Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thank you. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Or are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. We've got to nail this guy. The shoe prints? Size 8s. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. Help me out. Back to Central, Phelps. One of these assholes will break into interrogation. Guaranteed. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man. Professional. Diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. The coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Hey, I gave his wife a pack. She said all fair in love and war. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. 
We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. You're full of shit, Hugo. You want us to feel sorry for you? We feel sorry for your wife. The blood came from the wound in your wife's head. Why would I lie? You can check at the workshop. You don't want to catch the real guy. You just want to blame me. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. What color are your overalls? Green. We all wear green. It's a company policy. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Hugo Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! We've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen. They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy, I just seem to know what he's doing. Kissima, nani samadato? 
Umutarunda. See that boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? 